Hey everyone, this is Mike, and today we're going to be talking about why skill speed might just be the most important stat in Final Fantasy XIV. So yesterday we talked about how melding works and how stat tiering works in the game as well. And you can see that most of the stats in the game basically have a exponential growth, as the more that you get, the more bang for your buck that you get. Like the more crit you get, the more crit rate, the more crit damage you get, the higher your direct hit is, the more direct hit rate you have. The higher determination you have, the more damage you're just going to be doing in general. But when we take a look at skill speed, it's not necessarily a stat that you want to get as much of as possible. Even though, for example, it does increase the damage that your damage over time effects do, like your dots and your heals over time as well. But the damage and the heal over time increase is pretty negligible, to be honest. So when we look at skill speed, the main important thing about skill speed is getting the right amount. And the reason why the right amount is very important and will also vary from all of the different jobs is because your job functions the best at a certain GCD tier. Now, in the background, what you're going to be seeing is me executing the warrior rotation. I'm going to be doing the same rotation, even though technically it should change a little bit on the last one. But I'm going to be doing the standard ro uh, warrior rotation three times at a different skill speed tier. So the first rotation I am doing at the perfect GCD for a warrior, which is 2.38. The second time we're going to see me do it is I'm going to be doing at a faster GCD at 2.32 and then the last time I'm going to be doing at a 2.45 GCD which is incredibly slow and even way too slow. So certain jobs will be able to utilize a faster or a slower GCD a lot better than something like a warrior. For example Samurai is a really good example of that because they have Hagakure and depending on how fast or how slow they go they can choose to take one combo that only takes two GCDs, a combo that takes three GCDs, or two two GCD combos, and then use Hakakure on that to get rid of those extra cents. So Samurai is really brilliant when it comes to utilizing the different skill speed tiers, but something like a warrior is really not that good at it. So why is having the right amount of skill speed so important, and why is having this perfect rotation very important as well? So. When we take a look at what you want to be doing at endgame to play your job well, is that you need to have a rotation that you can loop, meaning that when you end the rotation, you can continue on and basically do the exact same thing again. Now with Warrior, technically you have a 3 minute rotation, I'm only showing the first 90 seconds or well, first 100 seconds or something like that, um, but you can already see the impact on what these different GCD tiers have in a 90 second uh, vacuum, I guess you could say, because a normal fight doesn't last 90 seconds, but if the impact is already this big on 90 seconds, imagine how much of an impact it will have on a 9 minute fight, because that is going to be so much worse. So what is the big difference between these three tiers for warriors? So when we take a look at the perfect rotation, everything works there, of course, your Storm's Eye application will be on point your off burst is going to align and you're also going to be able to use your inner release on cooldown right after you reapply that storm's eye. Now if we take a look at the fast GCD, you're still going to be fine when it comes to reapplying storm's eye, you can still use your inner release on cooldown, but we now need to take one extra GCD in between each usage of inner release and this means that we're generating faster beast gauge and it also means that we might have to do your inner release mid combo which is something you can totally do but it feels a bit weird now the main disadvantage of this is that your off burst your double inner chaos fell cleave upheaval is going to start coming earlier and earlier as well because you're generating so much more beast gauge so that is where all of a sudden your off burst is going to start misaligning with your trick attack your chain your divination that kind of stuff so that's not that great but it is still playable, it's not horrible like the 245 GCD where your Storm's Eye is going to be reapplied too late, so you're actually going to be missing a GCD underneath the damage buff, and if you still want to use your Felt Leaf on time, like on cooldown, uh, not your Felt Leaf, you're in the release on cooldown, then you're now all of a sudden going to have to start using Onslaughts, because we're basically having one extra GCD that we need to take before using our inner release, but if we do that, then we're always going to be shoving back our inner release by one GCD, which we don't want to do because then it's going to start to be misaligned with the rest of the raid buffs either. So to fix our rotation on that slow GCD, we actually need to start spending our beast gauge inefficiently damage-wise 
shafts just to make sure that we don't over cap on our beast gauge because that would be even worse. So that is why trying to find the perfect GCD and perfect skill speed or spell speed tier is so important to make sure that your rotation flows to make sure that all of your burst stays aligned with the rest of the party as well. So when you're trying to gear up, uh, there is a beautiful website called Ariala, which I'll show on screen real quick as well. Uh, it's basically a website where you can try to figure out all of the different gear that you have available to you and then can kind of pick and choose which pieces of gear would be the best and which will bring you as close as possible to the GCD tier that you want just to make sure that you don't have too much excess skill speed but also that you don't have too little and then you can of course try to fix it with skill speed melding or of course with using raid food as well because certain raid foods will also grant you a skill speed or a spell speed increase so you can kind of fix your rotation that way as well so when it comes to gearing make sure that you have the right amount of skill speed first and then take a look at the other stats like crit and direct hit later because those even though they are very important to dealing your damage they're very much not so important when it comes to aligning your burst with the rest of the raid because that is where skill speed takes the cake so that's pretty much what i wanted to talk about today i hope you learned something new and i'll see you in the next one